This is Chuck Underwood with Dan Seamiller, coach of the U.S. men's national team and coach of its Olympic team last year in Sydney. We've reached the final match, the men's singles here at the U.S. Open, and it will feature an underdog in Johnny Wong, who is seated 14th in this event, and the favorite, the top seed, Liu Gu Zhang, who came here with his countrymen, I think, expecting him, Dan, the, to meet number five ranked Chiang Peng Long, but he was upset and didn't make it to the final. And so now Liu comes in as a heavy favorite against Johnny Wong, who's nonetheless had a pretty hot week here. That's right, Liu Go Jung is currently ranked number four in the world. I was a hero in the World Team Championships uh, a couple of months ago in Osaka, Japan, where he had seven match points against him in a match against Korea and saved the world title for China. Johnny Wong has had an unusual run to the final. In the first round, he won 24 to 22 in the fifth game, so he won three games to two. In the quarterfinals, he beat Werner Schlager three games to two, 22-20 in the fifth game, so he's won two matches by two points. And he also won the semifinals in five. So Johnny is an unexpected finalist, but he's he's won some close matches, but he's gonna have his hands full against world number four and current star, Lu Gojeng, about to serve. One of the publicists for USA Table Tennis said, this is a match that you're going to hear. These guys are ball hitters, not strikers. They just really bang. Johnny Wong is a, an unusual player. He has pips out on both sides where the pebbles are on the outside, and he tries to hit everything he can using speed. Lu Go Zhang will be doing the top spin. He'll be trying to top spin everything. So it's going to be speed against spin here in the final of the U.S. Open Pro Tour event. And Johnny Wong with a quick backhand over the top. The crowd has gotten behind Johnny Wong after his close victories in the round of 32 and the round of 16. And he's the big underdog here, so... Everyone always likes to root for the underdog, and he's got his hands full. And then, oh, look at that shot. Lu Go Zhang is such a tough, he, he looks like a tiger. He plays so hard. Here's Once another look. Caught in the middle, but still he drives it down the line. And Wong for his first service series of the final. Oh, a little short serve to the forehand that goes long, and Lu Go Zhang hits a powerful topspin. And quickly, Johnny knows this is not like the other rounds of this tournament. This is against the Chinese star. Misses wide and long there. Only one top Chinese player came to this tournament, Chuck, and that's Lu Gojang. Normally, they send three or four, but after the World Championships, I think they were a little bit that just a couple months ago and needed to take a break. But they sent their best player, and he's in the final, and I'm sure they're expecting him to bring home the U.S. Open Pro Tour title. 3-5. Liu jams him. He's only 21 years old, Liu. Johnny Wong, 38. Johnny, a veteran of the Pro Tour. Hasn't been in a final in a long time. Uh, really has had mixed results. Just a couple of years ago, Johnny had moved up to about 14th in the world, but has had a steady fall and is now 37. But this tournament's going to bring him back up a little bit. And if he can win this final, that would be surely amazing. Liu misses. One point game. There's a quick top spin as Liu off balance. Thought he had a winner, but it clicked the top of the net and went long. And there's a Nice drop shot by Johnny Wong. It's a little bit high, but Lou a little slow to react. Johnny Wong entered the world rankings 10 years ago. He won this U.S. Open in 1992. That was before there was a tour. Last year here, Johnny Wong lost to the eventual champion, Wong Lee King. There's that quick 
quick backhand by Johnny Wong. He can pound your backhand with those tips out. Lou just a little bit slow to react. The speed of Johnny Wong is so hard to keep up with. But then again, Lou's got the spin. It's going to be very interesting to tell who can, which one will win. And table tennis, those are the two main factors, speed and spin. And both these players are excellent. Oh, look at that top spin from way off by Lou Gojang. Eight all. This is the best three of five. And this is game number one. Johnny Wong, the underdog, goes up by two mid game. Back can't hit. Johnny Wong is definitely going to have to keep playing Lou in the backhand side. The forehand is just too powerful. Here he starts up. Quick backhand hit wide. Lou trying to topspin that backhand a little bit late. $15,000 to the winner, $7,500 to the loser. Very nice by Johnny Wong. Born in China, but calls Canada his home. Great forehand hit. Lou is typically a, a slow starter. He lost the first game of the semifinal. Down four here in game one. Johnny certainly, oh, look.